Hello friends, I'm Nikki Adiemi, here again just to encourage someone. You know, it's important for us to train the next generation. You know, it's important for us to look out for the youth, rather than complain about, you know, what the future will be like, or how the world, the culture, you know, is fast changing. But we need to pay attention to the young people, the ones who will shape the future for us. How are they being um, handled? What are they being taught? What are they imbibing? What are their values? It's so important for us to be deliberate right from now. Okay, we, we have to affect their lives. We've, we've got to come alongside them and, you know, just be there for them and watch over them and guide them and influence them and, you know, get into their world so that we know what they're up to and not just leave them to themselves because they are going to lead us in the near future. Psalm 71 verse 17 and 18 says, Oh God, you have taught me from my youth. You see, from my youth. God is interested in teaching us from our youth, from a young age. It's just that many times we're not listening, we're not paying attention to him. He wants to teach us. And he says, to this day I declare your wondrous works. Now, also, when I'm old and gray-headed, O oh God, do not forsake me, until I declare your strength to this generation and your power to everyone to come. So it's important to declare God's strength and God's power to this generation and the generation to come. How are, how, what, what are the ways in which we can, you know, reach younger people? Um, we're not talking about whether they're your children or just the children in the community, people who are much younger than us. What are the strategies and how can we reach them? First, it's important for us to believe in them believe in younger people. Yes, they may be weird somehow, sometimes in their behaviors, but show them that you believe in them, validate them, you know, empower them and say, look, I believe in you. They need to be heard. They need someone who can affirm them. Paul believed in Timothy and how, you know, he had high expectations of him. And one thing about young people is they try to live up to the expectations of those who believe in them, those who, you know, have shown them some form of support or the other. They try to live up to the expectations. So, but if you have a low expectation of them, they probably won't amount to much, you know. Some teachers have low expectations of their students and the students you know, are like, yes, you're right. <laughs> you think I won't get more than a C, and that's it. That's what I'll get. So we have to take the bar high for them. Teach them God's word. Guide them. Because Proverbs 22 6 tra says, train up a child or a youth in the way that he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. I'd like to continue this another time. We'll continue this in part two because it's so important to talk about the next generation, to talk about the young people and to talk about how we are raising them, how we are helping them and how we are influencing them. Bye for now. Till then, keep looking out for the younger ones.